Yo, what's going on guys? It's Westrom here, back with another video, and in today's video, I am back here on Big Paintball. Now, there's a lot of stuff I want to go over in this video, including the new winter pack that was introduced, along with the new winter environment and music in the game. But before we do that, a lot of you guys haven't been liking my videos recently, so guys, just drop a like. I don't really ask that often, so please just drop a like on the video. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss my uploads, but let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, guys to start things off we have this winter pack here it is 5,000 robux we're gonna go ahead and buy it in this video but I also want to point out it is snowing on the screen if I am to deploy in the game as well you don't really see any snow I guess you could say which I thought that would have been a really cool update you know having snow around the map that would have been insane but sadly it's just on the loading screen and there's a little bit of winter music I just don't want to get copyrighted so I won't play it but guys you guys can go play the game right now and check it out anyway here's the winter Pack. We're gonna go ahead and buy it for 5,000 Robux. Oh my god, there we go. We did it. 5,000 purchase successful. Thank you so much. Okay, so we now have the Candy Cane Sniper, the Wrapped Scar, the Snowball Launcher, and the Santa's Gun. And that costs 25 million credits. Like, that's not even as much as the High Tech Sniper. It's even better. But we're gonna start with the Candy Cane Sniper and just check it out. Deploy. Okay, so it already looks decent. I like the look of it. I love how it just looks super wrapped and everything, but I want to try it out. So, it's a little slower than I would have ex expected. Okay, I turned up my volume a tiny bit just so we can hear this game audio, but okay, there's a guy right up there. There we go. Okay, so it is a decent gun. I think I just need to get used to it a bit more as I haven't really used it at all. But it's not a bad gun. I do have to say, it's not that bad. You just got to get used to most of the weapons you use. Like, I got that guy, boom, and we're going on our, uh, challenges right now as well. Boom. There's one. Oh my goodness, my entire team is over here now. I feel so bad for the enemies. Actually, not really, because he might actually end up getting me. Got him. Dang, this gun is, like, actually pretty good. I thought it would be a lot slower. And I think the game kind of thought that too, but I mean, it's actually a decent speed. So now, let's go to the Wrapped Scar. And check this out. So it's got a star on the top. I think that's pretty cool. It's like got an ugly sweater vibe. The entire skin of the gun. And it's got a little snowman at the top of it. So decent look. Let's try it out. So I think it's a little bit slower than the other scar. Um, the really expensive one. But I'm pretty sure it's better than the regular scar. So it's like an in-between version. Which isn't bad. That's good. But I wish it was a little bit better, I think, but we'll just try it out anyway. We'll have to compare the credit amount. So let's check the credits. So this scar would be 625,000 credits. Yeah, this one's 200,000. So of course it's got to be better. And then we also have this one. The tempered scar is 3.7 million. So that's why it's way better than the rap scar. I want to try it one more time as we really just died after one kill or one tag. I want to try and see how many more we can get besides just one. And then we'll switch to the next gun. Here we go. Anyone else want to fight? I know somebody up here wants to fight. Yeah, right there. Got him. Oh, that sentry is really after me right now. Okay, that's my teammate. There's a bad guy right there. We got him. So we've got three in a row. Uh-oh, sentry. Let's just try this. There we go. We took it out. Oh, there's a guy right there. We need to hurry up. Come on, right around the corner. Yes, okay. We've got four people in a row now. One of my challenges is getting eight kill streaks, so let's try and work on that right now. We got that guy with a long shot as well. Oh, he's way in that corner. I don't think we're gonna hit that, but oh, oh, that guy's camping his base. That's a big rip. Not much we can do. I'll put down a few sentries, maybe my drone, and then a radar. Got him. Okay, my radar's showing a lot of people over here. Oh wait, he got tagged. No one else is over here now. Got right there. How did I miss that? I thought I was going to hit that guy right there. Come on. Oh, he's got a drone. Okay, we got it. We got the eight kill streak. Now we need a three kill streak right after the eight. Oh, snap. Okay, chill. Chill. I'm getting shot at by everybody now. Oh, my goodness. How did he not hit me yet? There we go. Okay, so we did really good right there. And we leveled up, I, I, I guess. I really haven't played with the level up system. The next gun is going to be a snowball launcher. 3.5 million credits. So, you know, it's getting up there near the tempered scar. So, I'm assuming this gun is really good. Let's try it out. 
Okay, so I'm definitely gonna turn on an auto clicker for wait. Yeah, you can't even hold it down. You have you'd have to get an auto clicker for it. I'm gonna pull up an auto clicker real quick and then try it out. Okay, let's try this bad boy out. Oh my god, okay, that's a little bit annoying. We're gonna wait until we get closer to them and then turn on the auto clicker, but you guys can tell that thing will probably get a little bit annoying. But they should be right up here. My sentries are still there, which is good. Oh my goodness. What are they supposed to do? Look at this. What are you supposed to do against this? Like, you're... Oh my god. And actually, the range on it's actually really good. I actually tagged that guy. Okay. Wait. I'm turning it off for a second. We're gonna put a sentry down here. Drone and then a radar. We'll turn it back on right now because I know someone's gonna be around here. Oh my god. Yo. That is insane. Boom. Dude, there's a guy way back there as well. I don't think we're gonna be able to hit him though. Boom. Got him. Dude, this gun is crazy good. Like, I, I think it's a little bit overpowered. As long as you as you use an auto clicker, it's really overpowered. But if you're just playing regularly, which a lot of people do, then uh you shouldn't have any issues. Oh! Can I hit that guy? Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to hit him for a second. And we leveled up again, which is pretty cool. Now Santa's gun, the last one in the winter pack that we need to try out. So, already it looks kind of like an AK. No, an auto clicker? Yo! This is like a dark matter gun. Literally, it could actually stick with it. Holy. Wait. This gun's actually insane, and then the accuracy is really good on it as well. Oh, okay, we gotta try this thing out as quick as we possibly can. I'm getting to their base. This gun is so overpowered. I definitely recommend. If you guys are looking for a cheap deal, I wouldn't call 5,000 Robux cheap, but compared to the Dark Matter gun, which is 30,000, I think this gun would do. Like, oh my... I tagged somebody right there, and I didn't even, like, really, truly mean to. I was kind of just spraying, hoping I'd hit someone. No way! Oh my god, guys. Like, how is this fair? You're telling me I can use a gun like this. This gun is way too OP. There's a guy right there. I should be able to hit him. Boom. There's a guy over there. Oh, his sentry or something ended up getting me. So, you guys know, for the rest of the game, we're probably going to be using Santa's gun. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's pretty much one of the best guns in the game. And I think this was a really good addition. I love this uh, new update with the pack. I think that's a really cool, nice detail you could put into the game. And I'm hoping to see, like, a February pack. That would be pretty sick, you know, with some heart guns. That would be insane if they added some more packs. I would definitely buy every single one of them. You know, as long as they're not, like, 30,000 Robux or anything. But here we go. What the? That guy shot just straight up in the sky. Oh, my. Wait. Oh, he had a sniper. I didn't see that. That's a big rip. But what are we at? We're at 40 tags. So... Not too high on the tags, I'll admit. We're probably not going to get a nuke this game. But this entire video was basically just to showcase the new guns. And I'm not really used to them either. So, after some time of getting used to them, I think I would be good to go. But, since this gun is automatic, do I really need the auto clicker is the question. I don't think you do. I don't really think an auto clicker is necessary with this gun. Which makes it that much better, you know? Because using an auto clicker, kind of annoying at some times. But this time... You don't need one. You can just hold it down and it's automatic, which is crazy good. Oh my goodness. I'm literally tagging everybody on their team. And he is a sniper, so we need to watch out. We are getting every person on their team. We're on an 11 kill streak. 12. And uh-oh. He's going to try and snipe us. We need to stay behind here. We're going to put all of our stuff down. Even a radar, maybe, would be kind of nice. Got that person. Are they going to know I'm coming over here? I don't think so. There we go. Oh. At this rate, we could end up getting a nuke if we just kept with it. But I, I feel like we're about to get tagged. So, unless we don't get tagged for like the next 20 people, then we should actually be able to get... And I got tagged. I knew it too. Whoa, we're level 5 already. Okay, so... I don't even need to try, really, with these, uh, challenges. I'm getting them without even looking at them. Like, get a three kill streak, pretty easy. Get 25 tags, pretty simple. And 10,000 credits, well, I get that every game, so that's not a big deal either. Anyway, let's keep moving up. 44 tags in two minutes. We do have a few sentries. So that could help us a lot. And that guy's just camping his base. Cool. Oh, he's trying to get up the side of our base. Nice try, buddy. I'm not letting that happen. Yup. 
take out that sentry. Ho Dude, he took it out in like four or five shots. Dang, really? This guy is gonna camp the base the entire time with a P90. There's nothing I can do about that. Wait, they're at our base. Hold on. Yep, you're dead. Like, really? You're gonna try that at my base? You're gonna try to sit on top of a tower? Yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen. Uh, no, wait, wait. I have 59. We need to take the win at, at least. We can't just have this gun and not take the win. And, of course, that guy's sitting in his base with a P90 once again. There's not much you can do about it. Every time he's just camping his base. One minute left. Literally not much you can do. There's a girl right there. There's another person right there. It's another girl. Got her. And, yep, he's just camping the base, like always. Rip. I hate Like, these people, all they want to do is camp their base. There's nothing you can do when they're camping, either. You kind of just have to spray and hope maybe a shot hits them, but for the most part, it won't. Another sentry, another drone, and another radar. We know there's a guy right here. We know there's someone right there. There's someone inside that base, but they're camping. Both of these guys are camping, really. There's only so much you can do. At least we did take the lead. I don't know if we're going to keep the lead forever, but it's a worthy attempt if we can get a few more tags. There we go. There's gonna be someone coming out that door right there, probably. Come on, let me get this last tag. There we go, last tag. I think I ended up winning. Yeah, we won by three tags, and I ended with a 13 streak. Sadly, no nuke, but it was still a lot of fun. So if I'm being completely honest, guys, the pack is worth it. I don't know about you guys, but if you do have 5,000 Robux laying around, I definitely recommend you guys get this pack. Again, you get the Santa's gun, you get a sniper. Not only that, but the snowball launcher, it is a pretty good equalizer between speed and accuracy compared to Santa's gun and then the wrap scar. Although it may not be the best, it's better than a regular scar. But I think buying this pack, a lot of people are just going to want the Santa gun, which it's not a big deal. Again, it costs 25,000 credits. And if you were to buy 25, 5,000 credits regularly, you would have to pay even more Robux than the entire pack is worth. So it is a good deal. Santa's gun, you do want to buy it with the pack, but that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.